Yeah, not sure that was necessary. And he heard it from the crowd. So the final score. Rice, that shot fake, and he gets it to go. He has played like a starter for them all year. Cups out of the portal, and he's come off the bench all year. Here's John Michael Wright. Got it blocked from behind and stolen away by Tyreek Smith. And Cisse with the ball and two feet in the paint gets fouled. Oh, <laughs> Oklahoma State does. Here's Tyreek Smith. He was a big energy giver last mm -hmm. night. You and he and Musa Cisse together form a nice tandem up front. There's Tyrese Hunter. He's shooting 50% from beyond the arc in his last handful of games. Inside, Cisse, shot fake, and the flush. That's the other thing he gives you, Rich. For threes, plays like this, where you're coming off of screens, they're going to run a lot of that wing ball screen action. He expands their offensive arsenal. Hunter, mm. in traffic, tough two. Another three by Hunter, look out. You're going to have to stay home on Tyrese Hunter with the way he's shooting it. Here's Caleb Boone, left hand, no. Offensive rebound, it's loose, and Texas comes away with it, no whistle. No easy shots for the Longhorns so far. There's another wow. tough one, but Sioux knocks it down. In Big 12 play, just a cerebral, really smart player. And a nice take there. First two of the night. Knotted up at 15, under eight to go in this third quarter final in the Big 12 championship. Look at Sioux, dipsy do Sioux. Dessou really around the rim. I thought he more than just. But if you're Musa Cisse, you've got to keep your feet. You're, you're okay giving that shot up to Dessou. And now the takeaway, and Arterio Morris cashes in. Thompson lost it, gave it to Texas. An NCAA tournament bid with a big time win coming tonight against Texas. Marcus Carr out of the timeout. When you play in this league, you're blessed with a lot of quad one opportunities, but you end up with a record of, you know, 18 and 14. Step through, Thompson with the shooter's touch. Two. I mean, it, there is no question about that. But again, it's humans in that committee room, and I think yeah. the record becomes problematic. Rice, short on the three. Cisse had it taken away, and Dylan Dessou has been the best player for the Longhorns. Yeah. Grew up in Pflugerville, Texas, outside of Austin, calls playing for the Longhorns his dream school. He's making that dream a reality now. Anybody in this league, and I, I think it's worth bringing up the fact that he's not starting. I mean, that impacts everybody who's been a player knows when you're taken out of the starting line, lineup, that's going to have an impact. Arterio Morris for three. Watching him in that last time out, he is visibly frustrated. When he got taken out, he walked out of the huddle, and players had to grab him and remind him, hey, listen to coach, still pay attention. Coming up on three minutes to go in the first half. Carr <laughs> locked by Cisse. You know, you wonder if Musa Cisse was healthy all year, how good a season he would have ended up having. I mean, he is just a game changer at the front of the rim. Length, and that's close. Dylan Dessou, his fourth rebound to go along with those eight points. And there's another three by Arterio Morris. Woody Newt got the shot fake and off the window. Asbury got caught up in the air and turned it over. Here's Morris at the other end with the throwdown. Comes off a turnover. Just, uh, you know, it's been a real problem. Those live ball turnovers, and here's Morris in the open floor. Can shoot, but he's also a fantastic athlete. Nice job getting out in front. High percentage in each game, but you see how explosive a scorer he can be. He's a top 20 recruit coming out of high school.
There's an answer from Caleb Asbury for number five in black, Caleb Asbury. And that's the Cowboys defense that we're used to seeing and we're going the other way. Here's another number that Longhorn fans will love. Texas is 16 and 0 when they lead at halftime. And I think Jabari Rice just heard that number. Here's Rice in the starting lineup because no Timmy Allen tonight. Dylan Mitchell with the two-hand flush. This is not well defended and not well communicated. Nice job by Dylan Mitchell just switching his screen, and I don't know what Tyreek Smith is doing there. Tyrese Hunter triggers the inbounds. And a quick two by Jabari Rice. And they were to beat Kansas. I think the Big 12 is looking at two one seeds. With five on the clock, Newton had it blocked. And it's taken away. Carr. To Rice. Now Caleb Boone on the floor in his place. And he gets the ball two feet in the paint. And there's the Caleb Boone we've been looking for. Sure. Cissé at the five and Boone at the four, which was a change for Boone. He had played the five most of his time here. And you, if Cissé had stayed healthy, you wonder what that would have been like. One game tonight, three or four, a guy who's really caught fire of late from deep. He's wet. Coming up on 11 minutes to go. That's what stands between Texas and a date in the semifinals with either Kansas State or TCU. Cissé, another offensive rebound. And John Michael Wright finally hits a three ball. Here's Cissé. Couldn't get it to go. Step through, and John Michael Wright has back-to-back -back buck. Seven minutes left alongside Chris Patola and Chris Budden. Rich Hollenberg on hand. This is the third of four quarterfinals here at the Big 12 Championship in Kansas City. Coming up after this, he's a man of his word, and he's stuck in the studio. He has multiple <laughs> monitors going. One of our, our game is on one of those models. Winning the Patriot League, they shoot a lot of threes. I mean, that's in third straight NCAA tournament for them. These are the kind of teams that if you're looking for upsets early round, those are the ones to keep an eye on. Caleb Boone for three. After the conclusion of this game against TCU, the winner will advance to the semifinals to play the Texas Longhorns. Five on the shot clock, blocked by Boone. Well, he's earned it. I mean, from Jump Street, he's earned it. And he, you know, him coming off the bench, I know he started tonight. Mm, nice flyby for Caleb Boone with the dunk. Caleb Boone has kind of sparked it. The three there, and then he comes down. But Jabari Rice has been one of the main reasons that Texas's bench has been so good this year. And I know you've said this before. The bench and the depth of the Texas Longhorns are a big reason why they're so good. Asbury knows the follow by Boone. Go out to Texas trying to hang on in advance. Here's Rice hiding behind Dylan Dessou. And then the blow by. He's so good at that. He Rice to the hole again. This time a bounce pass. Juggled and lost. Oklahoma State. One under a minute to go. They lead by nine. Boone gave it away. Of our next game here inside the T-Mobile Center between Kansas State and TCU. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.